And thank you all for coming. <laughs> Not a problem, boy. Hey. Good. It's my second. I did one yesterday. Good afternoon. I'm, I'm Sheriff Greg Capers, San Jacinto County. Um, I, this is going to be another brief uh, news conference. Um, I, the first thing I want to get across is uh, the, the fact that uh, the governor of the state of Texas has offered $50,000 for the uh, capture of this, uh, this suspect. Uh, Multi-county crime stoppers, which includes Montgomery, San Jacinto, and Liberty counties, have thrown in 5000 for a total of $55,000 so far for this, this, uh, this suspect's arrest. Um, today is, is, or tonight, is going to be the Texas Police Officers Memorial. Um, we had a uh, constable die in our county um, about a year ago, uh, maybe a little over, um, and I was supposed to walk his wife, um, be, be her escort tonight. I have elected not to do that. I have called her. I have talked to her. She understands. Uh, my main intent and focus is 100% on capturing this suspect. Uh, the deputy's name was Neil Adams. Uh, uh, and he was a constable for San Jacinto County in Precinct 1. Um, tonight, at, or this evening here in about an hour and a half at 4.30, they're doing a vigil for the 8-year-old that went to Northside Elementary in Cleveland, Texas. Uh, once again, I would love to be there, but I'm going to be here looking, searching for this suspect. Um, my heart is with this eight-year-old little boy. I don't, I don't care if he was here legally. I don't care if he was here illegally. He was in my county. Five people died in my county, and that is where my heart is, in my county, protecting my people to the best of our ability. We have over 150 policemen here yesterday looking for this suspect. Today, it's well over 200 and more officers from other agencies are coming in to help us find this suspect. It is my number one priority to find him, as it is everybody that's out here looking for him. With that, I'm going to turn it over to the special agent, Mr. Smith. Good afternoon. I'd like to announce that the FBI is also offering an additional $25,000 for the apprehension of this subject. So it brings the total amount of the reward to $80,000. If anybody, whether you are here in this county or this state of Texas or around the country, have any tips, we're asking you to please call 1-800-FBI-TIPS. 24-7, this phone line will be available. If anyone has any information, that could lead to the arrest of this subject. Like the sheriff has said, we have over 200 law enforcement personnel from federal, state, and local agencies trying to bring this subject into custody 
so we can bring justice to those five victims and to ensure this community is safe. Uh, we cannot continue down this path until we get him apprehended and arrested. Uh, so again, we're asking everyone for your help so we can bring this suspect or this monster, I will call him, to justice. Thank you. Sir? Yes, ma'am. Could you speak to uh, the status of the other children who were found in the home? Well, the three, the three children that, that we loaded that night uh, and put in the ambulance, they were covered in blood from the same ladies that were laying on top of them trying to protect them. Where are they now? That they're they're safe. They're they're uh, with family, and they are uh, they're safe. This question really for either of these two gentlemen. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the search? Have you narrowed it down at all to a certain area where the suspect might be? Has he been able to get far? What do we know about where he might be? Well, right now we just don't know, because if we did, we would have him in custody right now. We do not know where he is. We don't have any tips right now to where he may be. And that's why we've come up with this reward so that hopefully somebody out there can call us. I get, pretty much can guarantee you he's contacted some of his friends. We just don't know who friends, what friends they are. And that's what we, we need from the public is any type of information. Because right now we're, we're just uh, we're running into dead ends. The longer this goes on, does it get harder? Well, yes, it does get harder. It, it will get harder. Do you all believe that the suspect is still in the area? We do not know. Like I said, we have right now we have zero leads of him. I mean, I, I can tell you that, that right now we're going door to door with these 200 officers. Uh, that they're going door to door, knocking on people's homes or knocking on people's houses, asking questions, uh, looking for tips. Uh, this this $80,000 uh, is is, uh, in my opinion, a real good motivator uh, to have somebody turn him in. We currently uh, are, are having uh, billboard, uh, billboard poster signs uh, made, four foot by five foot, uh, written in Spanish, so that, that that community can help itself. And, and, and if they read that sign, they will know that there's a $80,000 reward out for this man. And, and that's just today. Who, who knows what tonight or tomorrow will bring. Um, but we're, we're looking for closure for this family. Okay. I, I don't remember saying 15 to 20 miles away. I might have said five, but but we're not going to get into hashing that out. But uh, we, we have been going door to door. We didn't have the personnel right at the get go to do that. Um, I have a very small county, um, and uh, with, with the help of the the FBI, Harris County, uh, Montgomery County, all these these agencies, Liberty County. I, I could sit here for five minutes and tell you who all's here, but but with their help. We're sending them people door to door looking for, for any kind of a lead, a camera, a ring camera, a, a, a security camera, any, anything that they might be able to tell us. They knew him. They knew he went here. They knew he did this. They, they knew he did that. that that's what we're. The mishap with the photo. Can you talk about the photo you guys sent out a wrong photo of the suspect? Yes, I, I can comment on that. that. And you're also now saying to spell his name with an S. Yeah, well, as, as you can see, an investigation like this, we're receiving information from a whole slew of agencies and the citizens. And um, it was a mistake on our side of it. We identified it. We acted quickly to remove that photo. And we went back, re, uh, re looked at what we had. And now we are 100% confident we have the right photo out there. But it was a, it was a mistake. We will own up on it. But we've already talked to him. All right, I don't, I don't want to go further into the discussions we've had with him. So I will say we've spoken to him. All right. one, more, one more question, everybody. I'm sorry? Have you been able to interview the suspect's wife? Has she been any help? I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am, we have. Well, she's been interviewed uh, two or three times. 
uh, and, and, and she's in, in uh, constant contact. If we need her, she's available, and vice versa. We're available for her as well. I'm, I'm unclear on what, what you're... The wife, the wife, but she was also telling them that it was their fault. Uh, that's news to me. I... Right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, gentlemen. Can we come to Yeah, sure. You want me here? Yeah.